Hello everybody, today I wanted to thank you all for 900 subscribers. I cannot believe I am at this point. It is all because of you guys subscribing to my channel and following my videos, which I cannot say thank you enough because I can't believe I have reached another milestone on my channel. And it's all because of you guys who have been following my channel for all these years that I've been posting videos for. So what I really want to say is thank you so much for 900 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And I am only 100 subscribers away from 1,000. Can you believe it, guys? I can't. But anywho, what a better way to celebrate my 900 subscriber special is I'm going to be lighting up nine HID lamps. Each HID lamp that I light up for this video represents 100 subscribers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I apologize if the video is kind of dark because I actually want to start in the dark. So firstly, we have my Sun Pulse 100 watt, Pulse Start Daylight White Metal Halide Bulb. This is 6400 Kelvin. I've had it since August of 2020, so I've had this bulb for three years, which is a really long time, 36 months to be exact. The second lamp I'm turning on is my Yushio Color Light 175 watt blue colored Probe Start Metal Halide Bulb. This particular bulb I have had since October of 2020, so I've had this bulb for nearly three years, so I've had it for 34 months. Very long time, if I say so myself. The third lamp, which is under this fixture, is my Venture Lighting 250 watt Pulse Start Natural White 950 series Metal Halide Protected Bulb. This bulb I've had since May of 2020, so I've had this bulb for three years and three months, or 39 months, however you want to say it. And this bulb here on this shelf, this is the top shelf of what I'm doing. This one here on the top shelf is my plus right 175 watt probe start blue slash 20,000K aquarium metal halide bulb. So I also apologize for the unexpected light that just popped into my room but it actually gives you guys a better view of the lamps so this is what that lamp looks like the plus right lamp 20,000 K here's my venture um venture pulse start protected metal halide daylight white bulb here's my yushio color light metal halide bulb and of course the sun pulse 100 watt 6400 K daylight white lamp so, moving on down, we have my Philips Mercury Vapor Bulb. This one's clear, 175 watts. This bulb I've had since December of 2020. So I've had it for nearly three years, which is a really long time. I actually have had it for two years and eight months. Very long time. This, I believe, I don't know if I mentioned that I got this bulb on Christmas Day of 2020. So nearly three years also. And I apologize for the light level, it just went off again. So right here we have my Philips 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb. I don't know how long I've had this lamp for. I think I've had it for about a year and two months. So 14 months. So there's that lamp. It is severely used because I don't know if you saw in the video when I made that lamp, it has a pretty black arc tube. So. There you go. That's my sixth lamp that I'm gonna be flickering on. Moving on down, we have my big guard code lighting, 250 watt high pressure sodium parking lot fixture. This also operates metal halide conversion lamps as well, because I have a lamp specifically made for this fixture. So there you go. The lamp that is inside of it is a Sylvania 250 watt high pressure sodium grow lamp, tubular grow lamp. I've had this bulb since April of this year, so I've had it for only like <laughs> four months. Here's my um, eighth fixture, I believe. This is the second to final fixture. This is my Ashton Park Lighting 50 watt high pressure sodium wall pack. The bulb inside of it is made by Westinghouse. I've had it for four years 
and I got it on in July of 2019. The fixture itself I got in July of 2021. So the fixture itself I've had for about two years, but the bulb inside of it I've had for longer. So there's that. And the final fixture is my Siegel Lighting 100 watt high pressure sodium wall pack. I acquired this in December of 2020 and the bulb is made by Sylvania. I don't know how long I've had the bulb for, but it has a pretty black arc tube. And not only that, I got the bulb at a Goodwill store for about $2, so very cheap, if I say so myself. So, don't know how long I've had the bulb for, so I've probably had it for a few months, but I'm not sure. But anyways, I believe that is that, and I don't know if you can see in the reflection, this is my 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulb, but I'm not going to turn it on because it draws too much power, and I don't want to trip the breaker when I do this. So, anywho... Another special thing that you're going to see is, I don't know if you can see this, but this is my programmable LED scrolling sign, and it's going to say 900 subs on it. So as soon as I activate these two remotes simultaneously, which you can kind of see, um, it's going to turn on the lights and the sign. So, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and step back. And we will go ahead and get this party started, I guess. So, anywho, let's go ahead and not waste any more time and fire up all of these nine HID lamps for my 900 subscriber special. Anywho, let's get this party started. I don't know if you just saw, but the mercury vapor light switched off because there's a photocell attached to the fixture and it detected that there was light around, so it turned off. So that's why I did that. You can see all of my other fixtures firing up. Near the bottom is obviously the high pressure sodium area. And more up top is where the metal halides are. So, you may also see that my sign is right here. And again, I appreciate every single one of you guys that have been following my channel for all these years. I'm really thankful that I got to this point. So, then again, appreciate every single one of you guys subscribed to my channel. There's a lot of intense buzzing right now, and as you just saw, the high pressure sodium area light went out because the bay light activated the photocell for it to switch off. 
the photocell detected light, so therefore, the high pressure sorting bulb went out. But all the other three are still on. And also, I meant to do this at the beginning of the video, which is totally should I've done, I should have done this a while back, but it's all right. I'm gonna also also turn on my CE display, displaying a nine for how many lamps are on right now. So, there it is. Currently there's actually seven, but I turned on nine at the start of the video. So, let me show you the display up close. And it's actually an elevator display. You've seen this in many of my elevator videos. Switch that off, unplug the battery, there we go. Sorry about that, there was a couple of hairs and dust particles on my rooftop of the display. But it's all good now. Seriously, these bulbs are very bright, not gonna lie. Some intense buzzing from the ballasts. So, I think I'm gonna end it here. So, anywho, I really hope you enjoyed this video of my nine HID lamps, two of which turned off automatically. Hope you enjoyed this 900 subscriber special of my nine HID lamps firing up for my 900 subscriber special. And if you did like the commentary and the whole video, then please be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.